So today I'm going to talk about the FFE SSM, as we say in French, uh, which is one of the French Federation of Scuba Diving. This is the way that French people are taught to dive. So I mentioned last year that I was starting to train with them on a regular bas basis, two times a week. Um, so today I wanted to share what my experience was, if I liked it or not. And before we start, I want to give a quick disclaimer. This is only my point of view. Uh, some people can have and will have different experience than I had, uh, especially since I came from a scuba school uh, experience. I might not see the things like French people. Also, if you're French, feel free to activate the caption uh, down there. Uh, all my videos are captioned in French and English for your convenience. So first of all, this French Federation uh, is a non-profit organization run by members uh, that take and make live the organization. So it's like a bit different from scuba school that you can have uh, other in other places uh, because you don't pay to have your level, you pay to join the association. So you do have that sense of big community around it. I know that we French people do things differently. Um, I quote, because we invented scuba diving. So a French level will not be the same as a PADI or SSI level. Um, as I said before, I am a SSI dive guard and a PADI rescue diver. So coming from that point of view, the FFSSM was quite troubled by me. They did not know how to treat me. Some people were like, you need to start from the beginning. And other one were like, you can navigate through different levels. And up to today, I do not have a FFSSM level uh, because it was too complicated for me to get it. But I will come to that later on. So the way it works is you go two times a week in the pool. I mean, on my association, some association can be different. Uh, my sister trained with them when she was a teenager and she trained one time a week. And Nicholas, uh, before we went to Canada, trained with them as well and he went two times a week. So where I live, we are very lucky to have a deep pool, meaning that we can go up to five meters down, which means that it is easier to train young and unexperienced divers at five meters than three. We did have the pool all for ourselves, so we could take divers down and simply train. The first weeks I was assigned to a group and then they decided I was good enough on my own, so I was able to go down um, by myself uh, on this pool session training. And we started playing with Nicolas on this diving session. Uh, you can see various videos when we train. I have an Instagram post where I um, take pictures, so it was good fun. And once a month, we could go to a very deep pool, 20 meter deep, um, where we could train. I also have videos of that. So the first time I went there, uh, they decided they would evaluate me uh, without telling me. So I had a very bad experience there. Uh, the guy tried to... I don't know what he tried to do. He thought I was faking a panic diver, even though I was the one who was supposed to be trained. So I ended up removing my entire gear, hitting him and then grabbing Nicolas Octopus. So after that incident, I decided I didn't want to train with that guy. Uh, and the club kind of apologized and let me do whatever I wanted. So I was left on my own. So I was there for the sense of community that I kind of lost. I think that coming from a dive school place, they didn't know what to do with me. Um, so I would not recommend you to try to switch. I actually talked to my first ever dive instructor, whose wife used to be a diving instructor with the FFSSM and she was like, yeah, you're, you're better off on your own. Uh, thing is, I can't train anyone and I can't uh, dive someplace with only uh, my SSI and PADI license. In France, you do need the FFSSM or any other 
um, scuba federation so I might try again I don't know still on the fence on that one other thing that I really liked about uh, this experience is that I had a dive insurance uh, with my license right there this is a worldwide dive insurance a bit like Dan uh, I used Dan when I was training in Malta and yeah it does cover a lot um, another thing that I was able to do with that uh, association is train to be a vision inspector for diving tanks uh, which is this card right there which if you didn't know in France we have like this uh, regulation around tanks they need to be visually inspected uh, every year and every three or four years uh, they need to be re-evaluated on a um, special organization so every year a bunch of uh, vision inspector technician come together and just look at tanks if you own a tank you do need to have it inspected and it will be written on the neck of a tank there um, we did learn how tanks were made uh, the different kind of tanks what the danger uh, of tanks are and what tanks should look like so it was very very interesting for me i'm really happy that i was able to do that um, in order to keep that license I do need to visually inspect one tank a year, at least. If I don't, I would need to redo the formation uh, that takes place in two days. One thing that I missed a lot during this training is that they don't know how to play. I started training as a kid, so I started training playing underwater. I made a video about that, uh, if you want to check it out. So when I taught Nick how to dive, I also went playing with him. So then not knowing what I was doing when I was playing, I even had someone stop me on the side of the pool while I was uh, putting hoops underwater to play around, saying, what are you going to do with that? Um, are you playing? What, what's that? And he went ask my supervisor, which is the, the, the person who is supposed to train me, basically for the third level. Uh, and that person went, oh, let, let them do what they want to do, uh, because we all already talked about that. But yeah, I had people coming to see me and don't understand. And once we were playing underwater, like people went training and play with us, um, which was weird. So we might have started a new trend in the French scuba diving world. And in the same area of not playing, they do have their own way of doing things. Uh, I can't tell you the number of times I heard, well, Paddy might do that, but we do that differently and stuff. I'm very lucky to have met people from all around the globe uh, and know different types of scuba diving. I met French, uh, German, people from England, people from Switzerland. Um, so I know how these people interact and sign underwater and I can tell you French people have their, their own way which is very different from all the other people. I don't know how you sign having 50 balls left on your tank but I do that and they do that. I mean it's okay but I just need to know. Uh, one time my sister showed me uh, that sign uh, which was for her I'm panicking and for me that means I have no air left so that can be very tricky if you're diving with a French person make sure to include dive sign in your uh, dive briefing because they don't have the same as yours one comment that someone left on my um, Paddy versus SSI uh, video do summarize very well uh, what uh, this organization is uh, they said the big problem with national organization is that they run at local level by absolute tyrants who are at best power run cretins. And that is very true. I knew three uh, directors uh, in three different organizations and they do are old stupid people. Um, I'm sorry if you're one, but they have their own way of doing things and they want things exactly the way they want, even if it's stupid. Um, as I said before, um, the guy was the director who basically tried to strangle me underwater and didn't even apologize. So yeah, um, they are not all like that. I mean, there is nice people. Uh, my neighbor, two houses that way, uh, is from uh, the club 
and he is a very nice person. Uh, we did invite him a bunch of time. Um, he helped me with my dry suit and stuff. So he is a very nice person, but he also acknowledged that uh, the director is a jerk. So. In conclusion, I would say I loved the fact to be able to go two times a week in a pool, uh, to be able to train for new things, such as the visual inspector, inspector things, but I did not like the way the organization is run. So will I train with them again? I would love to be able to have the E1 level, which is the level that you are able to make initiation, because that's what I love about being a professional scuba diver, is being able to share my passion to other people. And unfortunately, I can't do that in France with my level. So I'll see if I continue training with them or if I'll find another diving association, because there is a lot, a lot of diving association in France. Um, but for now on, I'm gonna take a break. Um, I'm about to move also, so maybe the new city will be nicer, but I am tired of constantly having to prove myself. Even if I've been diving since I'm 10 years old, I'm never good enough for these people uh, just because I come from Paddy and SSI. So that was my take on the FFSSM. Uh, if you did train with them, let me know what was your experience in the comment section. Uh, if you do know a French federation of diving that is pretty friendly with other scuba school, I would love to because I am tired of them. If you do have any other question, let me know in the comment section. I try to do a scuba diving related video every month also. Um, feel free to subscribe to have more scuba diving and traveling videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.